fun. Yep. Let's get down with our bad selves. <laughs> okay. Oh, <laughs> with our, oh, I like how you do that. Oh, oh we're dancing? Oh, sure, we dancing? Why not? Oh, look at that. Oh. I do the side to side thing good. Like I, I watch I, myself I do, and I'm like, the, hey, uh, like you got the, you get the side movement <laughs> down. Is this Chris? Yes, it is. How you doing, Chris? This is Paul Outsider Tackle Box so radio show and podcast. We have Tommy here still playing his music and dancing. Yeah, I'm sorry. I lost I, I lost control of myself. I started dancing still. <laughs> Actually, in, in, my, time, yeah. in my defense, being a big guy, I just kind of took one move and it just kept going. It never stops. Oh, yeah. Roll tie. <laughs> yeah. Just to give you a visual, Tommy is wearing a, a, a tie today. I am. I'm sophisticated. It barely fits his neck, but it says, Dear Santa, define good. Yeah, yeah. And he actually didn't want me to feel alone in the antler look, so yeah. he brought me a hat to wear. It says, Merry Christmas. And uh, we're both wearing antlers. Exactly. Why not? You'll see this later on our YouTube, yeah, but it's quite the look. <laughs> And I have my Christmas sweater on. I'm Santa, apparently. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank yeah, you I'm again. I just drove by my house in a fire <laughs> truck. <laughs> oh, see, there, there you go. Santa just drove by his house in a fire yeah. truck. Oh, perfect. Well, we're in two places. Yeah. So he went there. That's how quick yeah. we are. Fire truck, though. We That's go there, awesome. and now yeah. we're here. That's awesome. Yep. So, <laughs> welcome back to the show. Thank you very much for submitting the blog. Uh, yes. It's great. Yep. It's got a lot of uh, still getting views, and so thank you very much. You're now a blogger. Yeah. You are a an article <laughs> writer. So, <laughs> congratulations. It's a, it was a great story. I was just explaining it to Tommy. Yeah, I didn't have a chance to read it yet. That's a good it's excuse for Tommy. He's the he's the best <laughs> at excuses. The other the last time I asked him to do something and he didn't do it, he said. My it's, the, it's the best excuse I've heard out of him. He said, my shoes hurt, and I couldn't do it. And I was like, you, you finally, something worth hearing. My shoes hurt. It sounded better in my head. And, yeah. I, and I just, I couldn't stop laughing. And I was like, you know what? How can you get mad at a guy for telling the truth? Like, yeah. he just didn't want to do yeah. what we were telling him. Yeah, it takes, a, it takes a special skill set to be as good as You're, I am. And you are very good at it. You're darn right. <laughs> well, welcome back. The idea behind the show is to spread happiness to the world through the joys of fishing. And you've been active not only now on our blog, but also on our Outsider Tackle Box, I'm a, our I'm fishing a, group. Uh, I'm an outsider fishing group. You've been yep. also active on... I almost uh, forgot what our group was right there, just for a second. <laughs> You just look smart because you wear glasses. That's all. That, that's the only reason You're I wear. Really, yeah, yeah. You just look the part. <laughs> Tar so you, he Tar he has been active on our on Facebook and the. Um, I, I said tarpoon wrong earlier, <laughs> and so I was trying to explain to Tommy the story because he didn't read it, just to give him some background when he got on the call, and uh, yeah, he decided to correct me while I'm telling the story. All he heard was me say the fish name wrong. So, thank you very much. I you wanted tarpon. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I told him, I was like, it's a tarpon, dude. And he's like, no, a tarpoon. And I'm like, no, a harpoon is what you would throw at me. But... Well, it looks like tarpoon. Oh. Do you need a second O for it to be poon? Yes. Tarpoon. Yes. Okay. In, you know, Chris, there's, there's that, <clears throat> you know, Paul has a high education, or at least that's what oh, he said. Yeah, yeah. But, I uh, pretend to see. That's the thing about education. I is... mean, anybody can print a, anybody can print a piece of paper. <laughs> that's true. Yeah, that's it. true. Yeah. That's true. That's probably what I he, did. He probably yeah, exactly. He just or wrote they his did. Name and... They they printed it out and said we. No, you know, you he tried. It. He tried to like yeah, go to he class. Your degree, he took the test. Your degree is written on the back of a cereal box, dude. I've seen it. <laughs> Probably. That's well. Under, I, under name, it says General Mills. I was like, who's this? The funny thing is, is like I'm just like, <laughs> do, can you ever pay those things off? Like I'm still paying for that cereal box. Yeah. That they printed it off. Yeah. Of. <laughs> You'll be paying that for a while. So, all right, Chris. How's everything going, man? How how are things been since the last time we talked to you? busy i've been like slam packed busy so i had a baby oh so congrats to, congratulations uh, everything up. and uh i moved oh so i moved to uh, from fort dix to pennsylvania okay so nice. and yeah did all that in the past two months wow. it's been about yeah two months 
crazy, man. And here it is already, the holidays and everything else, man. You, you've had a busy, busy couple months. And he always seems to find time to fish. Well, at work. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. Yep. That's, yeah. Pretty, that's pretty awesome. I, I wish I had that time. I mean, I always roll around with, like, a couple fishing poles and uh, a little tackle backpack. And then, you know, if I see something, I got a few minutes, I'll stop and throw a couple casts. We so. certainly appreciate that, and that's why you, that's why we like having Chris on the show. Yeah, actually, to be honest, he I'm has a he has a lot of fishing pictures and a, a lot of fishing stories, and so. Um, See, actually, I'm I'm a little jealous. I'm glad he has that habit. Yeah, because on my break is when you decide to call me. <laughs> I'm just saying, <laughs> I don't get the time to fish. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> All right, so tell us a little bit about the the fish photo. Looks like you have a couple with. Um, your little fishing friend it's is that your son that's my one son ethan yeah oh. yeah yeah it's hard to get it i've been trying to get him fishing but at the age of four i was able to get him to cast on his own yeah so that's pretty he's doing yeah, pretty good. good yeah nice. he's doing pretty good yeah i gotta work with the attention span a little bit yeah so the action ain't all there he's uh it doesn't get any better at six years going. old either yeah, <laughs> my six year old. He does love being on boats, though. Oh yeah. So like, if I take take boat out, like he's fine all day. He'll literally ride on the bow all day long. Yeah. He just loves being on a boat. Loves going fast. Loves doing all that. So. <laughs> yeah. Well, who doesn't like being on a boat? To be yeah, completely honest. Yeah. That's true. It is That's fun. very true. Yeah. But he doesn't really get seasick, which is good. So. Yeah. See, there you go. Which, you know. He's got it in him. <clears throat> He's got it in. Yeah, he's, he's, well, dad, yeah. dad has it too, so, like, you yeah. know, if, we, if that's what your dad does, you're going to do it. Yeah. It's just part yeah, of the deal. True. That is yeah. true. Yeah. That is true. That's, yeah. So, but, uh, Chris, I wanted to also take take another chance to tell you, uh, again, thank you for uh, your service and everything that you've been doing. I, I wanted to, I, I feel like I, you know. I should say that to Chris every time we talk to him or anybody. That yeah, we did the intro. Yeah, thanks again for your service. So we did put in your blog um, the uh, discount that we have for um, military yes. uh, men and women. Yes. So thanks again yep. for everything that you do. It's, it's, not, it's not an easy gig. So, and, you know, we, no. we appreciate that, so. All right. So, yeah, what? Cool. Any, anything else going on, man? Or, or I yeah, mean, let's talk about let's talk no, fishing. No, no. Let's talk or... about the let's talk yeah. about the fish. Um, we haven't got to our fish story. Let's. Uh, want to talk about Korea? One or two. Korean well, that, whatever yeah. he wants to talk about. Yeah. It, it is a great blog, and so just the, where you caught the fish, the bait used, and the the size of the fish, mm-hmm. uh, and then mm-hmm. um, you know that'll be part of our fish story. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, basically. I was deployed to Osan Air Force Base, which is in Osan in South Korea. It's about like 20 miles away from Seoul. Okay. And uh, I wasn't allowed to drive, so I found a loophole, and I got a bicycle, and I stuck one of them two-stroke engines on it. <laughs> like this little motor, motor kit. So yeah. once I got mobile, once I got mobile, I was like all over Korea fishing, like all over. <laughs> but there's this place maybe like a mile off base, there's this river. This river pretty much goes around the base, but to get to it is a long trip. Yeah. But, uh, <clears throat> so I would just strap up, you know, get my backpack on, load up fishing gear, and strap my pole to the front and just go. Me and my buddy, um, we would do that like every day after work, just go fishing, go wading in there. I mean, it was pretty warm. It was summertime there. So, you know, it was not, it was really nice there. And uh, we'd be fishing, and like planes were flying right over our head. And the spot, right, like I took a picture at, I also caught a snakehead, which oh. was my first snakehead ever. Those are so, a fun fish. Yeah, they are. They're tricky. They're like not. They're super aggressive, but they're super hard to get them. Like get them to actually bite. Uh, yep. Through. Yep. But uh, yeah, I just like I figured, you know, we're catching a bunch of these bass and uh, little sunnies, so I just. Threw one on a hook, live lined it, threw it as far as I could, and just let it soak. And uh, yeah, got that tarpon. I mean, you know, you could see like occasionally you could see like a shine 
of gold through the water and like it'd be one of those tarpons nice and like all the locals were trying to buy it off of me because apparently it's like really good eating and it's like a really rare fish or something like that but i ended up just letting it go Sound good for you <laughs> another time and then as as all of south korea just kind of complained about you for letting the tarpon go yes <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So like, I went back into town, the like one fishing store, and I showed the there's one fishing store in this whole town. Yeah, I showed the old guy, and I was like, "Hey, look at this! What kind of fish is this?" He's like, "Oh my!" You know, like he got like really excited, and I had to use Google Translator to figure out what he was trying to tell me. <laughs> so <laughs> that's funny though. You probably you probably caught this man's like Moby Dick type of thing, <laughs> and he's like, "Oh, yeah," you know. That's a tarpon. I've seen one of those one once of many moon, and he's just going on and on. And you're like, yeah, I caught it. I threw it back. Like you're gonna have yeah, you're right. gonna have luck for the rest of you know the, the next ten years. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I had like a bunch of people offer me money for the fish. I was like, listen, I don't have it. Like I let it go, and then they got like really salty. Yeah, like, it's still it's okay. swimming. They're like, you're stupid. Yeah, like, swimming. What? Yeah. <laughs> Hold on, let me go back and get Sorry. it. Like the, the right price yeah, that you would have sold it for. You're like, you know, I'll be right back. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let me just go get it. <laughs> that actually, you know, yeah. you know, what some some people do that. I mean, I've had that happen to me at the pier where you know we're out there and we're catching, uh, you know, we're catching shark or or even like just buckets of mackerel and people come up and they're like, can I buy some mackerel off of you for bait? And I'm like, dude, I'm just. Well, we I actually did sell my I I caught a sale two sailfish. And uh, I didn't, I, you know, you have to tr transport it home. I didn't really want to. And they, like, it, I didn't do any haggling at all. It's like they wanted to buy the fish, and I took the first price. I was just like, just take it. <laughs> and, and you're I'm hungry. I, I want to leave. I just, I don't want, like, it was such a great time. I have video and pictures. Nice. I got a picture of me and my dad next to it. It's like hanging up down. Up down. <laughs> up down? Hanging, yeah. Upside down? Yeah, upside down. <laughs> it's hang, it, it, wow. That's how I talk, though. It's yeah. hanging up down. <laughs> so, yeah, the only fish I don't give away is tuna. I like tuna. Oh way too much, yeah, so yeah. I, you, yeah I would, I would yeah. have to chase you down if you gave away tuna like that. Yeah, yeah. My like tuna is good, and I plan on going tuna fishing this year or you know 2019. There you go. So, there you go. Nice. My buddy bought a uh, 27 foot cat, and we're gonna go out tuna fishing. So, mm. nice. Yeah, tuna were running yeah. pretty hard over here on. Uh, in the summer, we were running, uh, we were catching a lot of like bluefin and stuff like that. So. Yeah, we didn't even have mm. to go too far out. They, no. they came in no. shore, so yeah. really, yeah, they were, they were, really? yeah, they were in between uh, us and Catalina. So. Yeah, you can do like a half day trip, and people were doing uh, catching a bunch of well, smaller size, but smaller still size, catching but, too. I mean, the bigger ones were still out there, but they were yeah, catching still too. small bluefins are good. Oh yeah, oh yeah. It was funny because uh, you know. Um, I, I, at my job, like we we supply some of the the stuff for them uh, to catch the the tuna, the helium and stuff that they need for their balloons. And I would have guys bringing me in chunks of tuna because they had so much. And I was like, Pff. yeah. And me being who I am and being the size that I am, who am I to turn down a big old chunk of tuna? I, yeah, I devoured that. So anyway, <laughs> enough about my eating yeah. habits. Yeah. He, he was almost gonna go down that. I was I was gonna cut him off because once he starts talking about food, you you can't stop him. Yeah. I'm, so I he well, I gave him the the look about uh, like let's. I'm the fat guy at the buffet that just pulls the chair up to the buffet. Like let's calm it down with yeah, the yeah. food story. This is not a food show. We will get a food section. Know, It'll be Tommy's treats. Tommy's treats. treats Tommy's, to, or Tommy's something like corner. treats with Tommy or something like that. Tommy's cooking corner. And we'll just do it. We'll do like fish recipes. And, yeah, and, and that I would yeah. I would butcher because I don't know how. And to, then people know. will love it because it's you. Yeah, I know how to eat. I don't know how to cook all that well. I just know how to eat. But yeah, all right. So, well, thanks for coming <laughs> yeah, on the show, uh, and and uh, we you know, we again appreciate everything you do. Mm -hmm. I, I I often appreciate. Cut, I I just cut off words all the time. Yeah, it's like you like you shorthand your words. I, I the last week I said exactly without I, I dropped the e. Yeah. You, you, can you can you believe he has a master's degree? I he do. He has a master's degree I, I, and he and he cuts off words. Like it he, does no good. It no, did it no good. I told you. So this we present this master degree to General Mills. 
<laughs> like we on the back yeah. of the cereal box. <laughs> this kid tried so hard. We're just gonna let him pass. But that's kind of how. Are you telling me that your 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 master's degree was a was a participation trophy? It might. It may have been. <laughs> it may have been. And it was only because they knew how much I was gonna pay for yeah, it. Like this, guy, this guy's been here for twenty exactly. years. Exactly. Let's they don't just care get him out of here. What you score? Yeah. Yeah. They yeah, don't care what you score as, as long, long as you check clear. Like exactly. You, guys, you get a piece of paper saying you there you go. They're like, yeah, exactly. There you go. They probably got tired of him. I would have. They're yeah. like, hey, this guy's been here for 15 years. Let's just get him out of here. Let's just. The sad story about that is I did get like a partial like scholarship for academics. That's the sad part. It's super sad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like I just. Yeah, so you know how to my... read. Here's a scholarship. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's exactly. It's like, do they give this to absolutely everybody? They must. <laughs> They have to. <laughs> you like, can count. I? You can use all your fingers and toes to count. All right. Here's a here's a scholarship for you. That was fun. Let yeah. Let's continue to make fun of education, Tommy. That's I was a, making that, fun that's of you, a great not thing education. I was making fun of you, okay. not education. Yeah. <laughs> well, thanks, Chris. We have a scheduled call coming up, but we always enjoy our time with you. So this is not going to be the last time we're going to have Chris on the show. Absolutely, it's no, just all around good time. Yeah, Chris is always welcome yeah. on the show, no matter yeah. what, anytime. Just you know, shoot us a message. I'm sure say, we're hey. gonna see another blog from him, so he's got a ton of pictures, and so yeah. we'll get that for him. Yeah. We're gonna put this up. Yeah. Uh, oh, that's the other thing. We're on uh, iHeart Radio now, yeah. Chris, and um, cool. uh, we named it. We're calling we we ca we're calling the show Fish Story. Fish stories. Yeah. Fish, yeah. fish stories with outsider cool. talking box. Uh, yeah, I'll get the app then. Yeah. So you'll be able to listen to it. Again. Yeah, you'll be able to listen to it again later on uh, iHeartRadio and yep. Spotify and iTunes, iTunes and all, all the fun stuff. Podbean and even on YouTube. Yeah, it's on yeah, YouTube. Yeah, yeah, you'll be able to hear it on YouTube. And unfortunately, you get to look at us do it. Yeah. You know, so you get to see how uh, <laughs> ridiculous this one next to me looks. It was all for a laugh to begin with, but I kind of like it now. We just all come in. All you needed to do was show up for me to laugh. <laughs> I know, but <laughs> it's just me trying to go the extra mile, I guess. <laughs> all right, Chris. Christmas. Well, you know, uh, from all of us here at uh, Outsider Tackle Box, yep. Merry Tight Christmas, lines, bud. Merry Christmas. Um, uh, congratulations on the on the baby and and on the move. Um, tight lines, yeah, bud. Yeah, thanks, guys. Yeah, all anytime, right. man. Yeah, you guys too. Appreciate having me on. And uh, anytime, have man. Have a great holiday. You too, you bud. Same. Take yep. care. Take bye care. Bye. Bye. Right, thank you. That was a good call. I like Chris. Chris is a good guy. Yeah. And, you know, really. Uh, yeah.